Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven. In today's video, I was showing you guys how to transform Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Android 4.4 KitKat. So here is a preview of the theme. It's very much Android, but even if you don't like Android, maybe if you're an iOS user or a BlackBerry user, you still might like the theme. So um, a lot of these are just custom icons, custom explorer, custom widgets. Um, a lot of things you can also change. So if you don't want the dock, you can get rid of the dock. You can change the wallpaper. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with this theme. And I definitely suggest trying it out. Now this tutorial works for Windows 7 or Windows 8. So what you want to do is go to the description below, right below the video, and look for your operating system. If you're running Windows 7, down the Windows 7 link. If you have Windows 8, go to the Windows 8 link and download that. Once you download it, open it up. Now the nice thing about this setup file is it's going to download the latest version of the theme no matter what. So you do get the latest version even if you're watching this video, you know, a year after it's released. Now, when you first open it up, it might ask you to install some third-party program. What I want you guys to do is press the exit button. It's going to say, are you want exit installation? Click OK. Then go ahead and reopen the file. I found this actually um, skipped the first two survey setups. Now, if it doesn't skip it up, then you can go through with it or somehow skip it. Sometimes they hide the skip button. Then what you can do is go ahead and uninstall the program from the control panel menu. So click next and then click next again. Now like I said before, this is the part where you're trying to download the latest version of the skin pack. It usually doesn't take too long. It usually takes like, you know, 10 seconds. Once it's done, it will go ahead and open up the setup file automatically. Now the next part is pretty simple. Press next, click accept, and next. And here we go, we can choose um, what we want installed. For the full look, I would suggest having everything installed. But if you want a specific look, then feel free to uncheck stuff you don't want. So if you don't want the icons, or you don't want the theme, or the wallpaper. But for me, I'm going to leave all of them um, checked off. And click install. So this installation is pretty much all up to itself now. It will automatically do all the things you asked it to do. And once it's done, you can click next and then have the option to reboot immediately which is what I suggest so what I'm going to do ahead now guys is um, pause the video and come back when it is done rebooting alright so I am back now and we're pretty much good to go but for me I had Rocket Dock previously installed and set up so that I actually did not change my theme so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click it and go to uh, screen position, put it on the bottom, and then I'm going to right click it, go to Rocket Dock, and go to Dock Settings. And even if it showed up correctly, there's still a good area to go to because you can still customize a bit about it. You can change stuff. Um, but I'm going to change the theme to Vista. And of course you can do whatever you want. So me, I'm putting my high quality icons. And you can also choose the zoom opaque. And um, by default, it's pretty good. But you do have the options to change whatever you like. That's the cool thing about this program. So now we're pretty much set up and good to go. I'll show you guys a cool, some of the cool features or the cool looks that we get with this. So obviously the custom icons in the dock. Dock's really nice. Um, you can add icons to it very easily. All you got to do is open up your file explorer or just find a file that you want to put to it. Take the file, pull it down, and you'll see it separates. Drop it, and there you go. To Delete the file off the dock, just drag it off, and just poofs away. Now mind when you delete the file off the dock, it's not actually gone. Um, this is just removing it from the dock. So along with the dock, we get the nice icons, and then of course our explorer has been changed to a nice slate gray. Now the ribbon explorer kind of disable or sorry, you can disable it or hide it using the arrow, and some people might prefer the look that it gives. Um, the icons are really nice, changes pretty much all the icons, even if you go to like the file explorer here you can see everything has been changed. So it's really nice, along with our status bar, even our clock hasn't been changed whatsoever though. Um, but like I said though, it's a pretty cool theme, and that is pretty much it for you guys. So if you are curious on how to uninstall this, um, all you gotta do is go to this PC, 
or Windows 7 or Windows 8, just go to uninstall program. And then what you want to do is find the skin pack in here, which is skin pack KitKat. Um, take that and go to uninstall and then choose everything and then choose uninstall and it will be removed. So that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, another thing I'll mention just before I leave, you will notice that the exit buttons are kind of hidden. So you have to go over the maximize, minimize it for them to appear. And you'll also notice that when you put the mouse cursor, which is custom, over the corner, cool animation, it kind of swings around, which is actually a really sweet animation. But besides that, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And um, thanks for watching. So subscribe for more, and I'll see you in my next video. This is Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.